In this video, we will cover polymorphic has many relationship. When we discussed has many relationship, we had student and student has many comments. Now let us assume we also need to have comments for the teachers. Either we need to create a separate table or we can change our current comments table to have polymorphic relation. Well, we can make following changes to our comments table. We will introduce these two columns, commentable type and commentable ID. Commentable type will tell whether the comment is related to the teacher or student, whereas commentable ID will tell us the ID of the corresponding student or teacher. Let us define this relationship in our models. In our comment model, we are going to define a new method and we are going to call as commentable. And this would return a morph2. Now remember this commentable method tells Laravel that there is a commentable ID and commentable type in the comments table. So that is why we have named our method as commentable. Now let's go to the student and here we are going to link student to our comments table. We are going to call create a new method and call it comments and this would return morph many and we are going to pass it comment class and the second parameter would be the name of the method that we have defined in the comments model that is commentable we are going to define the same method in the teacher model as well teacher can also have many comments which are related to the comment model using the commentable method let's see how we can insert comments into the comment table and link in, link them to student or teacher we'll go to tinker we are going to fetch a student and we can use the save method to store comment remember it is the same process that we would use if we had a simple has many relationship all the queries will work the same way so we are going to call the comments and save and here we can create a new comment and we could refer the comment as This should be two one. Let's try again. And here we go. We see that the commentable type is students, and commentable ID will be the ID of the student, which in this case was one. So Laravel has managed all these things on its own. We can use the save method the same way as we will do for the simple has many relationship. We can also save multiple comments using the save many method. I'm going to type it in my editor and we can pass this save many as a new comment remember we discussed all these queries when we discussed the simple has many relation And if I copy this inside the tinker, it is going to insert two records and link it with the same student. 
we can also do same thing for the teacher so let's fetch a teacher and here we can use teacher and save the comments for that teacher and now it will link those comments to the teacher in order to fetch students which do not have any comments we can use doesn't have we are going to pass it comments and then get and this will give us list of all students which do not have any comments associated with them in order to get teachers which have comment we can use has method like this and this will give us all the teachers which have comments in fact all our queries will work the same way if you want to check for other queries in has many relationship like if you want to get all the students who have at least three comments you can check the video titled as has many relationship where we have discussed such queries in detail now let us look at some other queries which are only specific to polymorphic has many relationship If you want to get a specific comment which is related to a student you can query on app comment table using where has morph method this would take a number of parameters first one is the name of the method that is commentable and second is the whether you want to search for student or teacher we are only looking for student so i'm going to pass student over here and third would be a closure where we will define our query here we are looking for comment and comment like this one and then we are going to use get method let's copy this and run this run it into tinker and here we go we can also do the same for teacher by specifying the teacher over here that way it will only fetch the teacher which meet a certain criteria remember if you want to fetch either teacher or student we could use a asterisk over here and this way larval will fetch any record which satisfies our condition that brings us to the end of this lesson if you like the video don't forget to press the like button thank you